Uh, we got to interrupt this uh, news story. We got a, a a big star on the on the on the phone. Kristen Bell, the uh, the star of Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Kristen. Yes. Congratulations on the new movie. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. So. Uh, oh. 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 No. Oh. No. <laughs> So oh, let's... Roland is in cardiac <laughs> arrest. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Best celebrity oh, interview ever, oh, ever. Yeah. Oh, man, we just missed a great moment live on the show. Oh, they're still laughing, too, man. We're, we were in break, and I was getting scolded by, like, I don't know, three of the staff because of our great Kristen Bell interview. And, um... As they're like kind of yelling at me, all of a sudden, which was awkward because we have a lot of people checking out the show today, so they're staring at me as I'm getting yelled at. Um, all of a sudden, everyone hears a thud really loud, and we all look up, and what, was she on the floor? <laughs> Some people saw it. Stalker Patty was coming back into the studio because we brought everyone into the actual studio today. Usually we let, let you guys hang out out there. And uh, Patty was trying to come back in the studio and walked right into the glass wall. Thinking it was an open Thinking door. It was a, yeah, exactly. Like a fucking stupid sparrow. And Jimmy, <laughs> and Jimmy comes running in like, because you heard the noise. I right? heard a dull thud, and I saw her backing away from the window. And I'm like, please let this be what happened. <laughs> Is a greasy, like, shroud yes. of Turin print up there? <laughs> yes. That's what I want to see. Get a picture of that. Yeah, Catholics are starting to line up. They think it's uh, the Virgin Mary on our glass now. Yeah. Great. It's the Virgin Patty's face. <laughs> yeah, the Virgin <laughs> Patty. That's, God damn it. Uh, Patty, what happened? <laughs> the door must have been a less uh, less wider than I thought. Yeah. You were in the middle of the wall. You were in Yeah, you weren't near a door. Yeah, did not the glass. Less, you're not Tor Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> An idiot would have walked into that glass. <laughs> Plus, she's here all the time. You At this point, you should know where the doors are. <laughs> you going senile in your old age there, Patty? No. Your brain drying up like your womb? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, her womb looks like the room they shot Pesci in in Goodfellas. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore, did Patty slip in her own yeast infection? Oh, 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 Patty. God damn it. People have to come by this show more often. You guys are giving us a lot of energy today. A lot of energy. That had to hurt. Patty, what have you been up to? Me? Walking into walls. <laughs> yes. Sweater shopping with Alex right. Rieger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice fucking Captain Kirk collar on that thing, too. <laughs> All right, what, what uh, Patty? We didn't hear you because we were enjoying the laugh of uh, Anthony's joke. So where, what have you been up to? Working very hard, trying to get double shifts in and stuff like that, you know. Where are you, where are you working? Starbucks. Still at Starbucks, huh? Yeah. I'll be there a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. You know, right when you started working at Starbucks is when they started taking, like, kind of a dive. <laughs> no, we're doing very well. <laughs> good, good response. <laughs> Patty, how come they switched the symbol? They went back to the old logo. Uh, the owner wanted to go back to the roots, you know, when they first started. You mean the show? Like a reinvention. Yeah. Sounds like... Uh, it'll be cheaper actually. labor. Sounds like a lot of... <laughs> 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 Karma Mochiata, Chicken George. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you get to cut off half my buns. <laughs> I couldn't think of a Starbucks cakey treat. <laughs> Fucking shit, I am. Uh, well, Patty. All right, Patty. You got anything good to, to say? How's your nose? Did you hit with your nose? No, I hit it with my head. <laughs> How do you walk? <laughs> I think I got a bruise there. I'm not even sure. Thank God you have such low self-esteem. You look down when you walk or you hit, you hit your nose. She's like the Pope. <laughs> yeah, well, the old one. She, she knows she's awful, too. <laughs> what do you lift? How much you bench? Uh, my best is 480. That's all right. Oh, what's, your, what's your average? What do you work out with? Uh, around 405. Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's a fucking highway in L.A. I drive on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you lift... Uh, if, if we set this up nice, can you lift E-Rock for us today? Uh, I... 
Probably not. No. Have you ever lifted a wet bag of feces? <laughs> <laughs> what if we, we could Just put, don't smell his breath. It smells worse than that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, I'm kidding. E-Rock. Let's put Teasing. E-Rock, let's put E-Rock on a board and see if uh, the big dude well, can I lift think, him. Mm. E-Rock and board. Yeah, <laughs> putting E-Rock on a how people feel when they talk to him. <laughs> Long way to go. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. I didn't mean it. Get E-Rock in here because he's not happy today. I want to find out what's Why going on with E-Rock. He is really like in a bad fucking cranky ass mood. Yeah. I didn't even notice. Yep. Yeah, he Old is. fucking Fabergé egg hair. Yeah. I didn't notice. <laughs> go, go find him. Oh, he's he's too angry to get here. He comes. Look, by the way, by the way, guys, sulking. that's uh, Pat effing uh, effing. I can say it here. Oh, Pat fucking yeah. Duffy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting a rousing round of applause Star for rubbing of, uh, shit on himself. Of many videos uh, on this radio show. Uh, Iraq, what's up? Speak your mind. Iraq, wh- why are you. Something is bothering you. Let it out. What happened? What's bothering you? Something's bugging you. We can yeah. tell. You came You're walking in? around in a pissy mood. Well, I asked you, and you said, well, it wasn't fun being in the, in the back office. Yeah. Why? What happened? Someone um, see its chapstick again? No. <laughs> um, no. Look at the face he makes at you. <laughs> it, it, That's right. I deserved it. The joke sucked. It, it, it wasn't fun because of uh, having to deal with probably some uh, repercussions from hanging up on on our guest. Iraq thinks he has to deal with this. It wasn't stuff. hanging up on the guest. The interview was done. Yeah. Yeah. Hope he asked a, a question. <laughs> we got, the got a good answer. Out. We we told him when the awesome. movie is. Awesome. Yeah. He said awesome. It was awesome to work on it. And then yeah. Interview over. What was the problem? And what, and what do you have to deal with yeah. with this? I was working on this with Roland. You worked on that? With Roland. What did you do to work on this with Roland? I've been learning what Roland does, how he handles things. Uh-oh. And, and uh, Sam's here. What nonsense. It, that translates to he's been watching Roland as Roland works on it. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, look at Danny coming in. Let me throw some fuel. <laughs> I got some lighter fluid. I just want to spray it on this little I flame. I just want to watch. <laughs> just want to watch. E-Rock, what's wrong today? Nothing. I just don't think that was... Uh, it... Someone's ringtone. That's all right. Who's got Sorry. the ringtone? Don't worry. My ringtone, Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited. So wow, nice. right. Good song. Good song. <laughs> would, it, would it be more accurate to, to describe your uh, and Roland's relationship as a mentor Mentee. and mentee? That's right, with body size. <laughs> oh, no, Travis is here. Travis, they all come in to, for the pile-on. You're, you're, you're watching the pile-on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like rats. Like rats. <laughs> Wait, they're good. What are they laughing yeah. at? Me? Travis, a sign on his back that says, I fart cum. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Travis, the audience saw? Yeah, yeah. Of course, so that's what they were laughing at. <laughs> uh, it's all right, though, because he's a girl. Steven so, yeah. Roland, yeah. Steve Roland both say this is the first they've heard of this. Oh, oh my right. God. Oh, where's Steve? Roland even where's said. Steve? Where's Steve? Where's Steve? Yeah. And Roland. Mm. Steve's writing up one of those signs to put on his back. <laughs> <laughs> You rock horse? Well, if it's true. <laughs> you rock, do the cinnamon challenge for everybody today. What do you say? Oh. Cinnamon challenge? Jesus. Do we have no! It? Let's kill them. Say no! You, you don't have you to do that. Die. Jesus Where are you Christ. going? Steve, what happened? Steve, now, Iraq says he was helping Roland this whole time try to procure that guest that uh, Opie, that I'm not aware uh, of did the interview with. No, that that I'm not aware of. No, as far as I knew, all. Roland handles the uh, the guest bookings solely by himself. Iraq comment? Yes, he does. But I've also been watching him work and learning what he does and uh, speaking to the people that he speaks. What to. does he do? <laughs> what did you learn? From what did you learn so far? How you? Um, what kind of questions they ask? Dial a phone. Yeah, I was going to say. How did you, you point at something? Go, what's that? And Roland goes, "That's a phone." <laughs> it's a phone. Here's a number. You press the numbers into the phone, and someone picks up, and you ask, "Can they come on the show?" Were you just looking out the window for celebrities yelling, "Hey, come up"? <laughs> no. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So, what did you learn um, uh, about uh, when when uh, certain guests do come up with their publicists and? Uh, other representation from either uh, the movie companies or TV companies mm-hmm. or whatever. Boring. He, he, he so what did you learn from that? Mm. What did you learn to do with that? You, I learned about uh, keeping contacts with these people. and. Um, Can you sign how stay, this? How to stay in touch? <laughs> Guy keeping relationships open for the show and, and uh, you know, for when they have future guests and, and things like that. No. I'm really not understanding not what like you it. learned. All right, so what did you learn from the Kristen uh, Bell experience? <laughs> That we probably are going to have a, a difficult time with Paramount now. 
<laughs> it's not like they're putting out big movies. Who have we gotten soon. from Paramount? <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve. Who did we get from Who Paramount? Who have we gotten from Paramount that we really enjoyed? Oh, here comes Roland. Roland. Oh. Roland, help me out. I think I think Jack Black was one of them. Uh, yeah, when was the last time we had Jack Black on? Yeah. Exactly. We had him had back uh, twice. Yeah, like it was fucking Opie Anthony and Jack Black on third mic. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a guest, Jim. Uh, Roland? Roland. Yes. Now, uh, hold on, hold on. Before Roland yes. starts, I, I, uh, I'll I, be buying you dinner this weekend. All right, thank you. Well, You're, you don't well, want to with I'm Anthony. Not, but I, I, wanted, you know, I don't I, know why I, Anthony I, would suggest that we do that on this show. I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's, she, I, I just talked to Kristen and discussed what happened with the phone lines. I hope with now. as much confidence in your voice as you're right. using I now. I did. I told her that... Uh, uh, Mars was fixing her phone lines, and unfortunately, he killed all the phone lines. Oh, so, uh, good one. So, Roland. due to so that, you lied. But, but no, we're going to reschedule her for next week because she loves the show. So, I told her, I'm sorry I couldn't transfer you, but our phone lines keep dumping now. Because our tech guy hit the wire. So, you blamed. Uh, You're hoping that flies, right? Hit a wire. If really, you smart to, really smart to explain that on a national uh, radio show. Right. <laughs> it's fine. Patty She's landed on a transformer. <laughs> right. I say a supporter. <laughs> <laughs> I just told her it was Puerto Rican. She goes, oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Throw a little racism into it. Now, yes. how has Iraq been helping you with all these guests? Um, <laughs> um, he just asked me what I do, and I just tell him. And um, are you? Do you feel when you're in the same room and you're doing something that you're teaching him things, or he's just asking you annoying questions? I don't know. I just answer questions like this one. I just had to focus and do myself because it just was... When the shit hits the fan, you're like, you gotta weave things. Wait, you didn't want uh, young, <laughs> your young squire here to help out? Yeah. Your no, young it's protege? It's just, no, it's just like, um, I don't know. It's like mm. He asked me like what I do and how you handle the situations and different things. What'd like you that. tell him? This one, I I, I just... Just want to... Say lie. Just, just lie through your teeth and no, say that... No, uh, not like through the teeth. It just explains what happens with during the radio show when phone lines crap out. And, yeah. yeah, they, they really did, too. I've yeah. gotten no new information from either one of them. No, no, both just, of them are just mysteries. Mm. Um, Something's bugging Iraq though, and he's not fessing what's up. What's bugging with it. you, Iraq? You're, you're, in a piss, you're in a pissy mood today, a little I bit. See it, I can see it on your face, right? Yeah. Oh, speak your mind. What's no, so mind? that's that has, the other thing has nothing to do with the show. What's the other thing? No, uh, I had a um, problem with my car yesterday. So, uh oh, the I'm angel of that. death. Who did you run over? Jeez. Nah. <laughs> Uh, the the car just hold on. But before we let uh, Roland go, Roland, now we'll have to like do a make good, so we'll get that other guy on our show next week. All right. Oh. What's his name? Um, I, I don't remember. Wow, that's a biggie. Oh, you don't want to say because then when this guy is on the show, everyone realizes that it's a favor to you. Oh wow, he's, he's smart. <laughs> you can't trip him up. This fucker is learning, man. Yeah, can't but, trip him up. But, All right, but she would like to call. Oh like, boy, she's a fan. Yeah. Mars took the blame. Mars, what happened to the phones? Yeah, Mars, you took the blame for the phone going out with that yeah. last guest. What happened to the phones? Fucking Roland hung you out to dry. Uh, it's a typical, typical Mexican response. Oh, because he, he said that fucking up the phone line was a typical Puerto Rican thing. Exactly, but they didn't fuck up, did they? See? Oh! <laughs> See? Are you saying yes? I guess so. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Iraq, what happened I love to your the diversity car? around here. What happened to Iraq's car, though? Yeah, Iraq car it, problem? It what? died. All the electrical uh, equipment just died in the car. So <laughs> I was stranded in a parking lot for over two hours. The Wait. car the car just got tired of driving really? around and, and quit <laughs> quit on you. Was, was the uh, tow truck able to find the right McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. No? No. Sorry, sir. What kind of parking lot were you in? It was a parking lot at a Best Buy. What are you getting? Um, just a bunch of DVDs. Something flat. <laughs> you should have gotten something for your car. <laughs> right. Iraq, we haven't seen you close to crying in a long time. What's up? I think, no, we, could, I think we could get tears out of you today. So what is it? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe dead battery? Don't be too sure, Ralph. I ain't got no hairpin. No, no. That was it. Just Great a, quote from the honeymoon. Just not having the car is a big not. pain in the ass. Would you mind? We wanted to get this gentleman to lift you, and he certainly can. I don't know if he wants to though. You don't not want really, to lift you, right? not really crazy about the idea. No, but, um, he didn't like. Uh, Would the you choke him? Old lady being <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> choking. <him out. laughs> I thought that would be kind of a cool trick. To choke me? 
No, no, it's a, no, it's a lift, yeah. I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna the be. The guy can lift like 400. He works out with 405 pounds. That's right. He can probably almost get you up. <laughs> <laughs> so who's uh, who's fixing your car? It's sitting there right now. What? It's still sitting in the parking lot of Best Buy. No, I managed to get it uh, close to close to my house. So. How'd you do that? Fuck. Good. I, I, I got it jumped, and then it died out as soon as I got near the house. So, so it's just parked on the side of the road. Must be your alternator. Uh, Jared from Manhattan writes, Erox's car flipped over when he got his order of ribs. <laughs> <laughs> A nice one. <laughs> E-Rock. Beat the E-Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, God! So it's damn. sitting now closer to your house, but still mm. dead. Yeah, parked yeah. on the side of the road. Now, what are your plans uh, to, for the car? Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, I was told that it's a battery issue, not the electrical uh, wiring. Mm. So um, I'm hiring Pat Duffy to come over and uh, fix the car. What kind of friends do you have that you have to pay them to come help you? <laughs> Pat Duffy? Yeah. Wouldn't he help you for free? He, he knows how to. Well, he needs some money, so I'm, I'm trying to help him out. How much are you giving him? I don't know. We'll, we'll yeah, work Eric, it out. How much are you going to give me? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> work it out right now. How much? How yeah, much how is much? it worth? How much? Pat Duffy, you, yeah. now what do you think is wrong with the car? It sounds like a dead battery. Does it? Yeah. How come then the car was jumped and uh, it, the battery wasn't being charged? Because not how do you know it's charged. not an alternator? Well, because all the instru instrument panels still light up when you turn the key. Oh, so maybe there's gook on the connector. Well, that would tell me Some that there's gook. power. Hold on. That would tell me that there's power in the battery if, if the lights come on when he turns the key. Well, my, my, my reasoning was that, that the charge is held in the alternator, and then, right? The char no, the, the, the charge is held in the battery. The alternator charges the battery right. when, when you drive. So now, I'd say alternator, dude. He's going to buy you a new fucking battery, and you're going to go, shit, I need an alternator. Even it, it clicks. It just, you, you turn it, and it just keeps clicking, yeah. and then nothing. Battery would be dead. Yeah, but your but tires. <laughs> <laughs> But if it starts with a jump and runs for a little while... Just the one. I, I haven't jumped it since. I just left it there. Yeah, but if it, it starts with a jump and you're able to drive it a little while, it's got the power and the battery from the jump. Mm -hmm. But then that doesn't replenish because I think your alternator's bad. Great. Why don't you hire Anthony instead? Yeah. <laughs> How much? You got six million? <laughs> oh. Come over. How much are you going to give... Uh yeah, how much? Pat, Pat Duffy. How much for Pat Duffy? Come over and replace something you don't need to replace. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll paint it for you, then it will vroom it home. Could, it could be a bad battery that isn't taking a charge, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know if it would then take a charge from a jump anyway. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll see. How much? What? How much do you want? How much, do you, how much is it worth to you? What, whatever he feels like giving me. I'm not going to ask. Whatever, I'm not gonna what do you want? Price. A fucking blowjob hooker? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you got? Two bucks? No. What? Man, I would suck oh, your dick. <laughs> oh, it's not uh, like fifty bucks. Fine you want a hamburger? Fifty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Does fifty sound fair? That's fine. I'm wow, looking at Iraq feels hundred. like he got you cheap. <laughs> no. Yep. Because if he went to you should have started a hundred. Yeah, because he, he you said fifty bucks. He's like, is that okay? Yep, fine. <laughs> yep. What about get expenses that you incur and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I said I'd cover him on that too. What what materials. You know, um, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy everything, and I'm also going to pay for um, for his train and everything else. I'm covering them all today. <laughs> Labor. Where's his train coming from? Where? Uh, well, actually, Eric, you live like 20 minutes away from me, so I was going to ask you for a ride home. All right, then I'll do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How funny would it be if the car didn't the work still? Works. Yeah, no, yeah. but you still couldn't fix it, and he had to pay for a cab <laughs> for you, like on top of his own shitty car. Take him back to the train <laughs> and battery that he didn't need. He has to <laughs> fucking cab you home and then walk himself. You don't have an empty tank, do you? No, it's full. <laughs> is that a gas? What is, is, does it run on garlic butter saw? <laughs> <laughs> Alternate no. fuel for e -Rock's car? Nothing? All right. Hey, uh, thanks. That was exciting. <laughs> that was good. I like the back and forth there where they terrific. were bargaining. A lot, of, a lot of people say in your right hand it's going to be the alternator. Yeah, that's what I think. Here's another runner-up line of the day. Like a person. <laughs> We get it. Does right. he have to go upstairs and outside to wave around that thing of incense? Because I know you can't smoke in the building. <laughs> Is he out there with people that are smoking, wave, <laughs> waving the incense? Imagine that. They're just BSing with the Pope, and he's waving that golden thing with the incense in it. Ah. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, what happened? Was, I even screwed up the beep. What's ya? Oh. Talk to me. I don't know. Bad edit, I guess. 
Yeah. Sam's at it. They're blaming Sam. It's all Sam. Sam fucked that up. I guess there was... What happened? They really need to get listened to before they get put on the air. What? <laughs> I just cut what? them. <laughs> hey, they need to get listened to by the person Sam, that edits them. Listen. Sam never <laughs> takes the blame for anything. <laughs> because I just cut them. There's a whole bunch of lines that didn't make it. And you know why? Because Travis listens to every single one. Uh-oh. So, I need to so be... So, Sam, more. you're you're telling me that that you shouldn't even edit them because I have to listen to your work? No, but I really should be informed of a poor edit. I would hope that a producer would do that in the future. I would hope a producer knows what a poor edit is oh, before snap. making one. I know, but oh. oversights happen, and I really need to be informed if they do. Right. <laughs> oversights, not a mistake. Right? Oversights, it's every fucking day your edits suck. Oh, oh wow, now, now this is getting personal. Well, then again, go. I feel like somebody should have told... I don't know why this is coming up now. I mean, you should really say, Sam, you need to do that edit a little better. As my superior, I would We've hope that that would come up. We've told you. When? <laughs> we have told you that your edits need to be better. Who's told me? Not you, Both not Both me and Than. Never. Not once. At all. Whatever. But now that it's documented... Not, oh, wow, we got him with a whatever. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to argue with Sam because it's just sarcastic comment after sarcastic comment. Well, Travis, so. he's implying that you never it? told him. <laughs> Why not argue with me? Shit! I, all right, the staff hates each other. It's great. I did not know that these two had a problem, though. I, I am no, aware there's, of no, there's no problem. There's but it's, there. but I'm aware if, of a lot of the problems between staff members. But yeah. I didn't realize th this goes deeper than a dumb edit. Sure, it does. No, it, it it really doesn't. But it's just like take responsibility for something. You know, like I would agree. <laughs> It's like arguing with a 12-year-old, so what are you going to do? You got beaten by a 12-year-old? <laughs> no, I said it's like arguing with a 12-year-old, And Sam. I said you got beaten by a 12-year-old, implying that I just beat you in the argument. So, Travis, you don't like Sam's work, is what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. And Sam? I wish I had known ahead of time, because I would have changed it. You barely listen to your edits. As do you. I want to kiss more guys. <laughs> To do with the freaking disagreement you're having, Sam. I didn't say that. That was a pre recorded oh, clip. No, it's not. <laughs> you have a studio audience. You can't you just say, blurt it. That you out. say that. There's no reason to blurt that out. Oh, fuck. I didn't say that. Try to change the subject. So, Sam, you're saying that your edi editing may have been shoddy. Sure, yeah. I mean, mistakes, oversights, they happen. It's only Every human. day. But basically, you're saying that the fail safe that's in place didn't do his job. Yeah. Travis? So, Sam, what are you saying? That I want to kiss more guys. Mm. Sam. Wow. I thought we were talking about something else. I really, this is like arguing with a 12-year-old. We're just playing clips and stuff. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Sam, if you're not making the edits right, what are you thinking about? That I want to kiss more guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, that was not live. Sam, you got to stop. I'm not saying it live. <laughs> that I want to kiss more guys. That wasn't me! <laughs> I don't like you. Well, that's because something was taken out of context or edited, and I, I don't know where it came from. But I'm not saying it now. That I want to kiss I more guys. <laughs> I love the fact that Travis, as he's arguing, has his arms folded. Of course he does. He's all just... Oh, huh. That's just how I stand. Oh. You're very flustered. Why are you frustrated? <laughs> when do we get to blame E-Rock for this whole thing? Oh, we can do that right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so Eric used to cut the lines, but <laughs> yeah, <let's, laughs> we kind of uh, relieved him of those duties. Does Sam's editing typically stink? Sam usually has shoddy editing, yes. Good word. Yeah, I, I had no idea until now. But so, in the future, they'll be better, I promise. The future! <laughs> so Travis, Sam is saying <laughs> that you didn't inform him properly. Well, now he's being informed in front of a lot of people that maybe he should listen to his ins and outs instead of just hitting one and hitting another and cutting it and saying, that's good. It's true, I feel silly. <laughs> oh my god, he is the worst. Fan comment? I want to kiss more guys. Sam, stop. That was Than that time. Hey, could you just let me talk? Uh. Stop talking about dudes for one second? Ah, Jesus Christ. What is this, this? the Ron and Fez show? That's that Stan. <laughs> I just saw that Stan and Sam magic. Yeah. 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 That chemistry. <laughs> I've, I've been up since four. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <That Kevin. laughs> we all have. That, Stan, that give and take. What do you think, Stan? Stan are you going to trash your partner there? Um... What, Travis? No. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a, a revamp we're doing. No, uh, there's been some 
questionable edits, and it just it's a time sensitive thing. So, oh, no. um, here's the end of the thing, the same show, right here. Oh, so, gosh, what I'm saying is, I you're fired. I got oh, oh, <laughs> no, um, man. 